Hi again. Um, all right, I'm back to share an, a mini album that I just completed. And I designed it for, with someone specific in mind. Um, this is the front. the side. In the back. And I tied it with some uh, organza ribbon. I took and covered it with paper. And then I covered it with a piece of material that I had, lace material that I had. And then I I put this trim all the way around. Uh, a different trim down the back side here with a couple of bows and that, that finished off the back side. And then I, I found this picture in my, um, oh, I don't remember it's a Tim Holtz collection. I don't remember which one it was. They had Valentine's and Easter and, and uh, that type of paper in it. But anyway, I thought that picture was pretty, so I put it there. And then I put some flowers around it here. I used the two strips of lace down the, the back side. And then on the front page, on the front cover, I uh, had seen a video, and I'm sorry, but I don't remember who did the video. It's one of the people that I watch all the time. Um, but she had taken an envelope and uh, covered the envelope with lace. And so I, I made an envelope that would fit in this space, and I covered it with, with the lace. And then I put the trim around the edges and some flowers uh, down at the bottom. And then I put a little button on the flap and I used Velcro to close it. Inside the pocket, I put a tag. Two-sided. And then on the first page, I put a pocket at the bottom, and I cut one of the tags that came with the collection, and I backed it with another piece of paper from the collection, and it just fits right in the pocket there. And then I have a tag at the top. Um, two-sided. The This side here matches the paper that I used on the front and the back side matches the paper that I used on the back. I just thought that was a rather cute idea. Clever of me. Oh, and I put <clears throat> a piece of lace down the spine in, in each section. I only did three pages in the album because I wanted to leave space in between uh, so that I could pretty it up as much as possible. I mean, let's be a realist. How many of you actually use the mini albums that you get for pictures? I, I know I don't. Very, very rarely do I use one of them. I just keep them because they're beautiful albums. So on this page, I just cut the paper and, like I said, the tag on that side matches that side of the envelope or pocket. Put the flowers down here with the flat back uh, pink pearls. And then I put a little saying down here at the bottom that says, uh, gratitude is the memory of the heart. And then on this page, I just did, I thought the picture was so pretty, I didn't want it cover it up so I just did a bow and a button at the top 
and then there's a tag in here which this side matches the paper that's used on the front and again on this side it matches the paper used in the back on here I just took one of the the cutouts from the collection and I taped down two sides to make it a pocket took another one of the cutouts backed it with a, a piece of paper and put this little flower down here and over here uh, I put a row of uh, little flowers, little pink flowers that I had and used some smaller flat back pearls um, I, I think I managed to use up um, three or four of the trims that are in this book. I used the last little piece that I had of them. And then it's got a flower up here and a flat back pearl. And then here again the picture was too pretty to cover so I just put some lace down the side and a little bow up here in the corner. And on the back I did a waterfall and on the first page um, I again covered the page with uh, the fabric and put a cluster of flowers up here with a bow and the saying says bouquet of thanks and then I just made the waterfall So I hope that the person that I made it for will enjoy it. I think she will. And uh, now I have to go on to my next project. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed what I shared this time. And I will catch you all again real soon. Just as soon as I finish tying this bow. Alright. Bye bye everybody.